we're starting this trip out to head to Fort Clinch in the rain. I saw a guy that looks like he came out of the movie, Brother, How Are They? We can't worry about that until we get the family farm back. <laughs> download our video from last year as we visited so we can know what we did that we loved. Maggie got the Fort Quinch cookie. The drive through here to get to the campground is one of the prettiest that we've ever been on. It is just fantastic underneath all these live oak trees and moss. Park Daddy Park so we can go for do your thing. We're trying to figure it out. Trying to figure out if we should pull in sideways this way or if we should back in. There's not a lot of room. And today it's gonna be a good day for us. So at Camping World yesterday we got a new room. One of these instant up clamshell rooms. Let's see how instant up it is. How long do you think it's gonna take us? Five minutes. I don't know. We'll do a time lapse and let you see. <laughs> Yep, those are some white legs, but it's time to wear shorts until we go home. <laughs> Two days after my birthday, Florida weather. Awesome. You loving it, May? Went on our first walk. First things first. <laughs> Pretty. It is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. So here's our campsite tonight at the Fort Clinch State Park. We got our clamshell room set up. Got the van parked here. We've got our table pulled over so I can cook outside and using the cooktop. Pulling some pasta. Gonna add some fresh vegetables to it. We'll see how it turns out. Fogged up the screen. So here's the second part of this meal. It's mushrooms and peppers and onions and garlic. And we're just going to add it to the pasta after it's cooked down just a little bit. So tonight we're cooking outside. We didn't want to heat up the van. It's nice and cool outside. And I would just rather be outside than inside. So this little Silvano cooktop is working out really great. I'm really enjoying it. So how did the cooktop work out? I think it worked out really good. Yeah, I do too. I like it. I like being able to cook outside. Didn't didn't heat up the van or get the windows fogged up or anything. We have plenty of this. Yeah, I'll this for a couple of days. That's awesome. I love it. Let's eat. A simple but delicious meal. My wife is so good. Mm -hmm. Hi, Are you chilling? Your eyes are glazed over. Maggie just got brushed and she's a little relaxed, isn't she? She's chilling. So this room was a really good purchase. We woke up after having a really good night's sleep here at Fort Clint State Park. And it's good to be able to sit outside the van in our little five-sided room and be able to enjoy the morning, which is what we're doing right now. Um, there's a lot more room in this one than there was in the Coleman, but it doesn't take up any more room inside of the Thule. So I think this is this is one of the best purchases we've made in quite we'll some time. We'll put a link to the uh, Amazon item that we purchased if you guys want to get one as well. 
we're going to ride over to the beach and sit out for a while. Pretty cool thing to do in January. Almost there. It's a beautiful ride over here for sure. So what's your favorite thing about walking on the beach? Um, probably looking for seashells. What's your favorite? All oh, the birds and animals oh, and yeah, fish. I like the birds too. Places like this where there's a jetty, that's really, really cool too. Beautiful day. What's the temperature? 78 degrees on January 14th. We're pretty lucky. Oh, we feel very blessed. My dad would have been, am I not getting you in it? <laughs> you cut my chin off. Oh, let me make sure. <laughs> we get good parts here. Let's see. No, this good parts. <laughs> my dad would have been 82 years old today. Happy Aww. birthday, Dad. get a storm this afternoon. Be a good good day to take a nap. Beach campground, which is really on the uh, on the river, but it's right at the inlet. I know you Back home. Hey, hey. What are you doing? Come. to the Willow Pond Nature Trail. We're gonna go on the Willow Pond Loop. Come on, Mag, let's go. Fort Clinch will forever be known for me as last year whenever I said, what do you bring when you go on a five mile hike? Some of you know the answer to that. If you do, put it down below. Showing you the campground and we've ridden over to the beach, but this is another thing here at Fort Clinch State Park that's wonderful. It's a multi-use hiking and bike trail that goes to a, well, it goes a long ways. Look 
Who were walking. Man. This is what men said was not an alligator. But that sure looks like a tail to me. Good morning guys. Our time at Fort Quinch State Park is just about over and we thought we'd take a few minutes and share with you a little bit about this trip that we're making, this uh, winter 2020 trip. So you want to tell folks about what we've done? Well first of all we've made reservations for the first month so we don't usually like to do that and we really got spoiled while we were in Alaska not doing that right. but we felt like um, it causes a little bit less stress. So we have and, made reservations at campgrounds, state parks. And the parks, parks are pretty full. They are. We, we came down last year for 2019 and we were able to stay for almost three months in Florida and we never made any reservations until right when we needed them. But we had a lot of days, we had a lot of trips where we had to just stay one night or two nights. And we figured out we really like to stay three or four nights in a place and really enjoy it. So in order to do that, we made all these reservations. And so through the second week of February, we're booked out and know where we're going to be. Several places that we came to last year that we really, really loved. And a few places that we've thrown in that we know we're going to love. And maybe one or two that we're not sure of yet. Yeah. So we thought this time we would actually give you kind of a review of our of the campground and kind of tell you what we liked and what we didn't like. Yes. So as we're wrapping up this Fort Clinch day, we're going to start with it. Yeah, so I guess the biggest thing we like is this is a really rustic old campground with lots of vegetation, lots of big trees. Um, the things, Spanish moss hanging from the big trees. I guess one of the things you like really a lot is all the hiking trails yeah there's lots of hiking and biking and not not just like you know half a mile trails there are three and four and five mile trails that are inside of the park that go beside of water and really cool little ponds and it's just really neat yeah uh, another thing we really like is that it's it's situated in between two bodies of water the amelia river and the atlantic ocean and so if you like doing things where you're going fishing in freshwater, that river is there. If you want to go out into the ocean, you can fish from the shore and fish in the ocean. Or you can do what we did yesterday and just take your chairs out there and just sit and enjoy a really beautiful beach that has not so many people on it and lots of shells and things and people are finding shark's teeth everywhere. Another great thing about this park is the fort that's here. Uh, we, we did view that last year. We didn't do it this year because we did it last year, but um, it's an awesome thing to go see too. Yes. There are washers and dryers here. There are modern clean bathrooms with tile floors and tile walls, and we didn't use those either, but they're there. There's also lots of biking trails here. Uh, mountain biking trails, even though we're not in the mountains, there are a lot of trails where you can ride bikes. And Another good thing about it is it's very close to Fernandino Beach area so there's lots of shopping lots of places to go eat so that's another good thing we didn't leave the park because there's so much things so many things to do here that we love so we didn't even leave the park we haven't but, cranked the van since we got here right so but we're only here two nights that's true. No. <laughs> well that's a lot of good things about this yeah. park that we love yeah it's awesome that's probably the reason we came back again this year. It, yeah. It's a cool park. There are a few things that we'll list on the negative list, and they're not showstoppers by any means, or we wouldn't have come back. But they are things you need to consider if you're coming here. If you're in a big rig, they don't have 50 amp on this river campground. I believe they do on the Oceanside campground. They don't allow 
pup dogs to go on any of the beaches or the rivers or any of those walkways. So you that know could, how Maggie loves the water, so she was very disappointed that she yeah. couldn't go out. So, yeah, she didn't get to go on the beach, and she knows it's here. She can smell it. But So just to keep that in mind. If you're going to bring a pup, they're not going to be able to go with you on the walks to the beaches and to the rivers. So that's something to consider. The other thing to consider, and it is, again, it's not a showstopper, but we only have one bar of Verizon LTE and sometimes it drops down to 3G and even with our uh, booster we're still only getting one bar. I do believe last year when we were on the other side on the river side of the, this river campground we were getting maybe two to three bars over there and as we've walked around we found cell phone signals but this site we're in, site number 51, it is very lacking in cell phone coverage but that's that's okay too. That's all we can mm -hmm. think of that's yeah. even wrong with this campground. Right. Everything else is perfectly right. The people, we've had a good time, haven't we? We have. It's been awesome. Thanks for watching and being part of our journey. This is our dream. We're not sure what your dream is, but we do encourage you to chase it down, grab it by the tail, and live it the way you want to live it. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Put that paw on that YouTube button. It's gonna be a fun.